Hi, want to know how to take off the strings on your acoustic guitar? Well, watch this. Why do we take off the strings on a guitar? Well, there are two simple reasons. First of all, maybe the strings are old and not sounding too good. And secondly, maybe you've broken a string. And if you ask me, I think you should change all the strings when one goes. Okay, so when changing the strings, there are three things you need to, to be thinking about. Obviously, the strings themselves. Secondly, we have the tuning pegs at the top here. Lastly, these things here at the bottom, these are pegs down here too. And more of this later. So to do this, we need at least one thing. This is the minimum that you're going to need. And that will be related to the pegs that we mentioned earlier. And more of that later. Maybe a string winder. This will also be very helpful and I'll explain how now. The first thing we need to do when we are taking the strings off the guitar is to loosen the strings by using your thumb and your finger like so. The thing with this is it can be a bit time consuming. Right? Now, first of all, we need to make sure we're going in the right direction. That's the right way. Right? And you can hear it. You can hear the tone, the you can hear the sound of the string going down. Obviously, this way you are tightening the string and going very much in the wrong way. So you could do it like this, with this here. And, you know, you just need to go this far so that the string is pretty loose like this. Okay. And then we will do the same with the other strings. However, if you've got one of these things, this makes the process a little bit easier. And so, obviously, you will put this part here on there and start unwinding. So maybe it should be called a string unwinder. And you can hear that much, much quicker. But remember, make sure you know which way you're going. Don't go this way, because it's quite possible you could do it too quickly and this peg here might snap out. So once again, so using the string winder or string unwinder, um, we can do a knife like that. So you're making the strings like this here. And so you've got these three done and you're gonna do exactly the same with the other three. The strings now are all very, very loose. You can't play anything on here. So from this stage, I now go to the guitar picks. And as I said, you can remove them using the pliers, but these things here yeah, they can be a bit uh, rough on the guitar. So you can pull it just like so. And eventually it comes out. Or if you've got one of these things here, the string unwinder, you can use it like so. There is a groove here that will allow you to remove the peg here. So it's gonna go like in there all the way in and then whoa you lift it out just like that and it should go flying out and you could do exactly the same now with the rest of them so the strings are all out from that side now we go back to the top here and quite simply what we can do is this here unwind the string off and then totally remove it so again, with the A string, we can unwind it completely, like that, and then pull it out. And then we'll do the same for the other four strings. Here are all the old strings. Generally, when I get rid of them, I loop them together like so. So it comes like that, and then I throw them away. But remember, be careful with these things. They can be quite dangerous, so please throw them away responsibly. So you're left with a guitar like this. So usually about now, um, now is a good time to give it a bit of a quick clean. And with a little cloth, uh, a lint, one of those kind of lint cloths, I think they're called, you can give it a bit of a wipe down here and wipe down there. There's also some guitar polish that you can use, and I'll put a link in the description for a couple of those. If you're getting value out of this lesson, then please subscribe and hit the like button. The next thing to do is to put new strings on. So if you want to see a lesson on that, please click the link there or check the description down below. My name's Dave and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next class.